Hi guys, today we're going to be discussing a step-by-step -step guide on how to best position yourself and what to do in the Bitcoin ecosystem. So we're talking BRC20s, ordinals, and most importantly, the upcoming fractal Bitcoin, which is just around the corner in September. We will also be discussing near the end of the video a little bit about the Bitcoin Layer 2 ecosystem, because there's many great opportunities over there as well. All right, let's go step by step on what to do on the Bitcoin network, how to get started and how to best position yourself for the upcoming developments. First of all, there are a couple options regarding your wallets. I personally use most of the time Uniset wallet because they are the most airdrop friendly as we've seen with the latest pizza airdrop. However, if we're going to be honest, the Xverse wallet is actually with a slightly better UI. For example, you can directly swap tokens on the Xverse wallet. So they have a swap functionality and this is unheard of in the Bitcoin ecosystem because as we all know, there is about 10 minutes of transaction times on the Bitcoin network. So that's crazy. So from the UI perspective, Xverse wallet is actually better, but I would recommend using Unisat just because they were one of the first and the Unisat team is building Fractal. So I would not be surprised that some Fractal Bitcoin airdrops in the future reward Unisat wallet users. So first things first, what it's incredibly simple. You simply go to Unisat official Twitter. You follow the link on their official page. Always, always verify that it is the official channel and the easiest way to do so is that you know that people who are legit also follow that channel this is the easiest way not to click on a random scam which unfortunately still happens to this day so on their official website you simply download the chrome extension just like you would download metamask or rabbi or anything else add it to chrome or any chromium based stuff that you're using and then that's it you set up your wallet set up your seed phrase and you are ready to get going same thing, literally the same thing with Xverse. The, there is a bit of a problem sometimes with this when you're importing between Uniset and Xverse because they use different token standards. Sometimes like you have native SegWit and it's details. It, it won't be a problem if you encounter some issues when importing your Uniset into Xverse or Xverse into Uniset. Just talk with us in our Discord or ask directly at the source in Xverse and Uniset Discords, but it's a minor, minor inconvenience. You should not have any real problems with it. So once you actually have your Unisat or Xverse wallets or Magic Eden wallet sorted, then you need to buy some Bitcoin and you need to send this Bitcoin to your wallet, obviously. And the easiest way to do that is these days, OKX charges the lowest amount of withdrawal fees from the Bitcoin network. Uh, it was about $2 for withdrawal fee, so that's literally nothing. And you can always check the current Bitcoin prices, of course, on mempool.space. Here you can see that currently it is about three to six sats, which is insanely little. Like I always told you guys that Bitcoin fees are high, it's higher than Ethereum, but right now to send Bitcoin costs like half a dollar, which is absurd. You definitely want to use this incredibly low fees while you can. So that's number one. Once you've funded your wallet, once you have created your wallet, once you have funded the wallet, let's see what you actually can do to position yourself for best airdrops in the future. Another thing to keep in mind regarding the capital required, I would really not fund my wallet or wallets with less than $100 because just the fees when Bitcoin starts heating up again, it's probably going to cost like $5 to $10 in fees. But yeah, if you're going to be buying some NFTs and that kind of stuff, it's going to cost you at least $20, $30, usually sometimes $10. So yeah, capital required 10 like 100 to 500 would be some kind of average hundred dollars minimum but again yeah i don't really like to talk about these gain potentials because everybody knows by now that the bitcoin ecosystem has been the best performing asset in the last year when it comes to airdrops but yeah in the future we will see what the future brings now most importantly what you can do once you're actually funded your wallet and what what are the actions to take the most simple basic ways to get started with uniset or with bitcoin ecosystem Go to uniset.io, connect with your wallet, and just simply go here in the Inscribe tab. Here you have several options. You have the BRC20 tab where you can deploy or mint existing tokens. If you want to do this, that's fine, but it might be a little more pricier than you need to be paying. So the easiest way to get some transactions in is simply to go here in the Names tab. And here you can either get your .sats name, so right, put literally anything that you want, press Next choose the amount of sets you're paying. You can even get away with the economy part because currently the prices on Bitcoin are, the fees are incredibly, incredibly small. 
So yeah, all you have to do is check this mark over here. You can see that the price is like 69 cents, which is absurd. And then you have to connect, um, you have to choose the address that's going to be receiving this Bitcoin inscription. If you're connected with your wallet, it's going to be the one that you are connected with. And then all you have to do is just finalize that transaction. You're going to pay with Bitcoin, of course. And then you go here with pay with wallet. Of course, for some reason it bugged. So <laughs> we're going to quickly press refresh, connect our wallet again. Sometimes the connection disappears, but doesn't matter. Okay, we are back. So we have, you can also go here in your orders here. So you can see all the, all the orders that you have submitted previously. You see that here it is pending. You go here with pay with wallet. And then you simply finalize the transaction just like you would finalize a transaction on EVM chains like MetaMask, Unisat, or literally anything in the world. Same thing you can do with the text documents. For example, type in anything you want and then just press next. Same procedure. Now, personally, I'm just actually going to do this Uniworlds because Uniworlds is the thing that Unisat team is developing on Fractal Bitcoin. So let's actually maybe get this sorted. So, okay. So apparently it's not recommended, which means that it's taken. So we are not going to get our own name here. So maybe let's try this. Okay. This one is actually okay. So we would go here. We would choose the course same thing connected wallet press next and yeah finalize everything for a horrible price of one dollar <laughs> we have finalized our bitcoin transaction it is that simple now next thing you can do is of course go here in the files tab if you want to upload a file but actually this one is very i mean very expensive it is going to cost you about a hundred dollars to get a file on bitcoin if you can get a, like a really tiny file maybe a couple kilobytes then you can do that. I remember inscribing a, a black background because it was just like three or four kilobytes for a couple dollars. But yeah, basically, if you want to get a file on Bitcoin, you can do that, do so as well. But it's going to cost you a little bit more. For example, I think this one of these was like $64 or something like that. No, not this one. Then it should be this one, maybe. Nope, not this one. But anyway, yeah, file inscriptions cost a lot more. So keep that in mind. And finally, what you can do here is get your hands on some of the best assets on Bitcoin, which are the blue chips. So or the sets bitmaps, you go here in the marketplace tab and you can choose to buy some of these on open network. So for example, let's go in the BRC20. Let's choose Ordi. And here you go in the trade tab. And the only problem with this is that you can only buy inscriptions that are in batches. So, for example, if you want to buy 25 ORD, then you're going to have to buy the whole inscription for $700. You can try to find the smaller allocations, for example, just 5 ORD, but they are priced more per unit. For example, here is 27 and here is 30. But yeah, if you don't want to spend 700, but you want to spend the other amount, then you can do that. In the future, if Fractal Bitcoin delivers everything that it's supposed to deliver, this is actually going to be nullified like we will be able to have a proper DeFi, proper dex experience where you can swap 0 0.257 amount of tokens for uh, three dollars for example it's not going to be as fractalized <laughs> that's a word it's not going to be as fractionalized as as it is now but currently this is what we have so unless you want to use a centralized exchange which which actually has different kind of liquidity but then you have to also pay withdrawal fees to get your funds on a wallet so yeah, this is what you can also do. So buy some ordi, buy some sets. Currently the price, the prices from an all time high are about 60, 70% down. So it might even be a good buying opportunity, not financial advice. But yeah, most of these are real blue chips in the Bitcoin ecosystem space. So you can't really go wrong with that. Unfortunately, there's not much utility for these tokens right now. Although, as we know, they're going, sets are going to be used as gas on the Unisat marketplace in the future. So that's planned utility. And then you also have bitmaps, which are the chart is looking absolutely horrendous. But if you're keeping up with all the developments, all the plans that is for the Bitcoin metaverse, then this is actually potentially an incredible, incredible buying opportunity, considering that the block runners, which are one of the best channels for Bitcoin ecosystem news, have recently created a video saying dump bitmap. And I was like, dude, what the fuck are you talking? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, but yeah, apparently, no, it was just a clickbait title. Of course, they're still bullish on the bitmaps and so am I.
no matter what the chart looks like the, we all know the price of bitcoin also was crashing up and down and who knows maybe we are in a similar pattern with bitmaps either way the project is definitely not dead even though the chart suggests otherwise and final aspect of portfolio construction on Bitcoin has to do with Bitcoin Layer 2s. Well, there are many, many different options. Personally, I am mostly bullish on stacking DAO and Solve. This gives you a very nice mix of both, both STX tokens and the native Bitcoin itself. And you can even ut utilize this on, for example, Merlin Chain and such. So in stacking DAO, all you have to do is just buy stacks on Binance or anywhere you want. Send it to your Xverse wallet or Uniset wallet. Personally, I prefer XRS because you actually can see all your different assets on different chains, which of course, again, makes it for much smoother user experience. You can kind of think of it like Uniset is the MetaMask of Bitcoin and XRS is kind of like Rabbi wallet of Bitcoin, if you will. And then if you want to take it even a step further to even put an extra degree of risk, but of course, and reward, you can utilize your ST stacks, so your staked stacks token you can use it in different DeFi platforms for example like velar velar is offering an insane amount of 671 percent apy on your staked stacks and AUSDC. and i had no idea what AUSDC is apparently it's the old bridge uh, usdc so this is one of those projects that we found like a year ago for the airdrop but it is one of the more reputable bridges out there so yeah you can pair your staked stacks with AUSDC for an incredible reward keep in mind that there's only thirteen thousand dollars in liquidity so maybe this number goes down when the when this number goes up because that's usually how it works but at the moment it is a really great utility for your staked stacks tokens and the other option if you don't want any exposure to stacks you can just have some bitcoin exposure through sol and you can do so for example on many different ethereum or ethereum layer twos even binance avalanche and others or you can choose to go with merlin or bitcoin directly you can get some sol btc and you can also use it in DeFi. for example on avalon here you're farming multiple airdrops you're retaining bitcoin exposure but most importantly you are doing a two in one because you're getting both points from sol and from avalon same thing with the stacking DAO. All of these projects we talked about, all four of them, they all have points programs. And I believe just looking at the numbers that they have less than 100 million in total value lock, then they are considerably under farmed. So of course, Solk has a little bit more because it's multi-chain, but less than 100 million in total value lock sounds like a great opportunity in everyone's eyes. And that is the shortest possible summary of the steps you can take in order to participate in this vibrant ecosystem of Bitcoin DeFi, BRC20s and Ordinals. Practical Bitcoin is probably going to be a huge revolution if the team, Uniset team actually delivers. So we are all super excited about that. But yeah, that is coming in September. So definitely keep an eye out on all the updates. Make sure to keep an eye out on this Uniworld's Twitter account as well, because they are the first Fractal Bitcoin application. And yeah. That's all I want to talk about today. As always, if you have any questions, we are waiting for you in our Discord. This is going to be probably one of the more lucrative spheres in 2024 and 2025. So you definitely don't want to miss out, but you're going to have questions along the way. We are here to help you. You can check everything in our Discord. And other than that, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe with the bell notifications on. For any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching and until next time, have an amazing day.